now do that, Chums to Zai, Captain of the Steves, and today, Chums, for you guys in the Viewerverse, I want to talk about Light No Fire. Yeah, this game has lit a fire inside of me. I am extremely excited for it, and I am a little bit trepidatious as to what we're seeing in the trailers and whether they translate over to actual gameplay. But if they do translate over to gameplay, why am I so excited? Look at that vista. Look how far you can see all the mountains in the background. Look at this skeleton warrior. You know, I, I grew up on stuff like Jason and the Argonauts and things like that, where they threw in the Hydra's teep and up and popped all these little skeleton guys that you had to fight against. Freaking great stuff. Yeah, and also look at the glowing weapon on the back of that guy as well. It hints at magic, people. And this world just looks so captivating. There is something else that concerns me a little bit. Within all that swathe of landscape, there's one point of interest. Anyways, underneath the oceans, you've got a galleon there. That's a point of interest. Hopefully, if you had to loot something from there, get a nice weapon or something from inside of the chest or a piece of armour or something cool. There's also a giant octopi in the background there. I wonder if we killed it, whether we'd get something cool. It's all this sort of stuff that's got me excited, people. It's an Earth-sized planet. It's a true open world. It's the first time anyone's tried something like this. Yes, we've had full renders of cities, but this is like Google Earth as a game. As a game. I can't. Unbelievable. It springs to mind. To the point where sometimes where you go, hold on, this, this sounds too good to be true. Is it true? Can I believe my eye peepers? Is what we're seeing on the screen here a visual representation of what to expect when I jump into game. I mean, just as they come out of the water here, there's a little creature that runs past, that just scuttles past the camera very quickly as well. The sights to be had inside of this world, and the gliders, and the way that you traverse it, the mounts, how beautiful the trees are, I'm loving the contrasting of the grass. It's a feast for the freaking eyeballs. It's a work of art brought to life on screen. That's why I'm excited to play it, people. I just want to be inside of this world. It just looks super darn freaking immersive. Even the base building, you can see there, there's a guy walking along carrying wood upon his shoulder like a, a, a felled log. And I'm thinking to myself, well, as a player, have I got to do that? Have I got to actually physically carry each log from A to B, take it to a crafting station to make it into a little mini ladder or something? Have we got to work together to build a nice little residence? And why are we building residence on this earth? Do we need to put down some sort of foundations? Is there something we need to protect ourselves against inside of this beautiful, majestic place? Or have we got to get to a place? Are we there to adventure and traverse this? Or are we just looking for a place to make a homestead? What is this? Is this second life inside of a fantasy world? What the heck is going on? What I do know is Hello Games has made one of my favourite games of all time, No Man's Sky. If you haven't jumped in and played No Man's Sky, it fulfills all the dreams of childhood years and yearnings to travel amongst the stars and to view everything inside of the universe. Almost like it's as close as I can get to being in a fully open Star Wars sort of universe in a roundabout way. And when I saw this, when I saw this trailer of a fantasy-sized world, the first things that sprung to mind was riding Falcor from the never-ending story, especially as this cloud, as this uh, dragon flies through the cloud, clouds, and later on in the trailer where you see another dragon flying and meandering through clouds. I was like, wow, this is just like never-ending story. And yeah, Neverending Story also had that scene with Artex running through sort of like the swamps with all these crystals jutting out. Well, you see lots of different biomes inside this trailer that's very reminiscent of the world that is inside of Neverending Story, which is like an alternate version of Earth, which this is an alternate version of Earth. I'm just hoping that they've got elements, a little bit like the Neverending Story in here, that are captivating. I mean, what's happening to this land? Why are we not the hero? And is anything happening to this land, or is it just untouched, unspoiled, and we're there to do a bit of that spoiling and add bases all over it? I don't know. I need to know more about this title. It's got me interested because it's got dragons, it's got a beautiful art style, it's multiplayer, it's massive, it's massive like unbelievably massive, and it's just something that hasn't been done before. Hello Games seems to break the mould with every game they do. I mean, the last campfire didn't. I mean, it was quite whimsical. It was quite magical. It was quite lovely. If you haven't played the last campfire, I strongly suggest you hit it up. It's cheap as chips and it's beautiful. It would make you smile ear to ear. It's a great little game. 
But this game oozes lore and mystery. I mean, with that giant stone golem in the background, look, he's got some sort of symbol engraved in his chest there. And we see the similar sort of symbol on flags and stuff inside of a building later on. It's There's so many little things you notice each time you watch this trailer, something new that you spot that you didn't spot before. And it's like, oh my days, I just need to get into this world and start experiencing it. I mean, Shaun of the Murray said about having mountains that are actually high as mountains that you'd find in real world. And yes, you can sort of see something, even in the cloud line up here that looks like a giant mountain. And one over there peeking up through the actual clouds over in the yonder hill. You can see these sort of like other sort of hillocks, which are not mountainous, but it just cries out, come and play me. And this rabbit character has got a shield on its back. So I'm imagining the play start with this guy. You're going to have a shield to actually parry or knock people back and then a giant sword to slash people with. This guy's got a giant scimitar, so maybe it's two-handed and whack, whack. Don't know, but that sword almost looks like it should be a two-handed sword, but it's clearly got a shield. So I just can't wait to get some of these questions answered, people. I've got so many questions from this title. I've done a deep dive into this and I came up with shed loads of questions. This is that never-ending story element where you're flying through the crowds. Dream a dream. Take my Mahane. <laughs> Voice of an angel. But yeah, where was I going with that? Yeah, it, it, it's just playing on sort of like my member berries. Yes, my member berries are tingling, people. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably a horrible image in your head. But no, it, it, it's pulling on retro-esque sort of nostalgia vibes for this title, people, in so many different ways. And I'm hoping I can just jump in and play it. I, it, it looks great. I mean, all the characters look like they're straight out of Sylvanian families, and then they've been slavered with a slap of He-Man or something, you know? It's a real weird medley, but I think it works. And... I, it just looks magical. It looks magical, people. It looks special. This game looks special. This is something special, which is something that people said about No Man's Sky, and I think this is going to be special in so many ways, people. Even if some of those things inside the trailer are a little bit baked out, I did a video on how I think they could be baked out. If you want to see that, I'll put a link up in the right-hand corner. Go and hit it up. But thank you very much for listening, people. That's why I'm excited for no Light No Fire. And as soon as I've got more news, it'll be coming to my channel. So if you're here for Light No Fire, make sure you've hit that subscribe, the like, and all that sort of shenanigans. And if you've already done that, share the video. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.